All right. No. Nothing. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Now what we're going to do is deal with some complex stuff here. I want to show you how I do this. You know what? The first thing I want to show you. Now, I already showed you that from here to the center of the hip is 11.81 okay let's say 11.81 which is 11 and 7 eighths okay that's butting the side from the side of the rafter all the way out now you could also measure from the corner of the building as well and I'm going to show you that it's real simple okay what you do is you take this measurement right here let's say we could do it in feet so we got 1.937 minus we're going to subtract point 0.984 equals Okay, 0.987 minus 0.984 equals, okay, and that is 0.953. So what we're going to do is plug this measurement in here, 0.953, all right, 0.9. Five three. Now that's feet. What we want to do is change that into inches. All you do is multiply it by twelve, and it's eleven point four four seven. So we're going to write that here. We're going to put feet here for that, and we're going to put. It's cramped up here. We'll put it down here. Eleven point four four seven. All right. And that's inches. Now, what we want to do is we want to see if these two measurements add up to this measurement, which is 23.25. Let's see. So we got 11.44 plus 11.81. Equals. Okay, I guess I didn't add. So I didn't press my add button. So we're gonna we're gonna say plus eleven point four four seven equals twenty three twenty five. Look at that twenty three twenty five. So that means these two measurements are right. That means you can either measure from this way and get the center of the hip, or you measure from the center of the hip. Or no, not 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 from the center of the hip. You measure from the building line to the center of the hip, the corner on this side to the the center of the hip, and it's the same thing. So it don't matter which way you measure it. This this is for if you're measuring from this side of the house in, and then you level up. You know you square up that mark because of course this plate height is higher. Or you can measure from the King Common and measure over. It's the same thing. Now, I want to show you some more technical stuff before I lose all my daylight. And I guess this will be the last thing I'll show you for today. And that is, I want to show you a little principle here about roof framing. All right? A little principle Concerned. roof running just a moment the wind is catching catching the wind okay I think I got what I need here now look at this piece of paper here we're going to draw all this out 
so you can see what I did. Now, this line right here represents the subfascia. This line represents the subfascia, all right? This line represents the building line or where the bird's mouth is going to sit. That's what that represents. Of course, this line right here represents the hip. All right? And you can see that this side is the 12-12 side because the hip swings towards the 12-12 side. This side is the 7-12 side. Now look at this. We have our Look at this. We have our Let's see here. Okay, now look at this. So we got What we're gonna to have to do is figure out this. We're gonna to have to figure out. Uh, let me see how I do this. Let, let, let me do it. Let me do it my original way that I normally do it. I'm getting the. Let's do it this way first. I wanna show you something here. Let's do this. keep this on the same sheet as much as possible so nobody gets confused right and I'll tell you what these lines represent now this represents the outside of the subfacia this represents the building line this line represents the hip all right that represents the hip okay now we see that the hip it sits on the same side as the 12 12 sides. The rafters coming down this way. All right. Now, what we need to figure out is what is the distance from here to the center of the hip. Now, we already know from here to here is 11. From the outside of the building line all the way to the center of the hip is 11.447. So we're going to plug that in. 11.447 inches. Okay. We're going to change that into feet, which is that number. 0 0.9. Okay. Now we want to figure out what is the length from here to here. This is a very important measurement. And so the way you figure out, and, and this is the center of the hip. So the way you figure that out is this way. You get the 0.574, and I think that's still in the calculator. So we're just gonna put, yeah, 0.574 divided by point nine eight four equals point five eight three we take this number and multiply it by point nine five three times point nine five three equals and the answer is point five five six so we're gonna put point five five six now, that's from this corner 
to the center of the hip. Now we're going to change this into inches and you just multiply it by 12 equals 6.675 now when you get this 6.675 and by the way that is inches and this is feet it's the same measurement one is in feet one is in inches one is in inches, one is in feet. Same thing, okay? Just a moment. Now, this is very important. This measuring from here to the center here is very important because that's what's gonna let you know what the exact measurement is for this to here. And you can see that the building line don't go all the way to the hip. It stops short and it turns before it gets to the hip. So what you have to do is figure what is the measurement from here to here. And the way you figure that out is the way I just showed you. Now that you, what, what the, the advantage of knowing this measurement here from here to here, now you can get a length for this measurement here. And the way you do that is you take this that little bit of measurement right here, which is this measurement in feet or inches, and you add it. Oh boy. Come help me, Jezreel. It's getting windy. And so what you do is you take 0.574 feet and help me here. The wind caught this stuff. And my paper weights are all blew around. So what you do, yeah, and put it over here. Pick this stuff off the floor too, please. So what you do is point, we're gonna do that. Well, that's already in the calculator. So we're just gonna press recall one. So we already know that that's in the calculator and we add that plus this point five five six equals and that's the length for this one is one point one three oh one point one three oh so we're gonna write that here one point one three oh okay so now we got our whole run and the next time that we come back, what we're gonna figure out is the jacks. Now that you got this measurement, the run layout for the jacks and the run layout on the 7712, on the seven on the 712 side and the 1212 side, then you can figure out the jacks. You go, we're gonna also be able to figure out the plywood cuts, angles. We're gonna be able to figure out. Uh, the hip length overhang, all that stuff, the bevel, the degrees, all that. So we're going to stop right there for now. And this is Lewis Thomas with Master Carpenter Series. And this is part four. And stay tuned for part five.